Our modern version of the traditional Yule log cake is an elaborate creation using the same chiffon cake rolled and filled with chocolate hazelnut cream covered in chocolate bark and festooned with candied mushrooms and pistachio moss. And now my roulade has just come out of the oven. On a muslin towel, sprinkle lots of sugar and turn the cake out right onto the towel. There it is. Released nicely. Peel off the parchment paper. What a beautiful cake. This really is a great recipe. Sprinkle this side with just a little bit of confectioner sugar. I know I just said that these cakes were the same chiffon cake recipe used in the other cakes in the show, but I omitted the lemon zest and I decreased the proportions of the ingredients slightly to accommodate baking it in two rimmed baking sheets. And now roll this up short end all the way. And you want to roll the towel inside, being careful not to crack the cake. This cake is so malleable, so flexible. So that's cake number one. And here's our second cake. So now comes the best part of the stump cake, the decorating. 10 ounces of white chocolate gently melted mixed with three to four tablespoons of corn syrup. The corn syrup makes it soft enough so you can mold it with your fingers. You do the same thing with your dark chocolate. So now put this right on a piece of plastic wrap and set it aside. So now for the filling of the cake, six tablespoons of chocolate hazelnut spread and a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. And we have three cups of whipped cream beaten to soft peaks with a half a cup of confectioner's sugar. That is our filling. The reason I added the heavy cream is just to loosen up that hazelnut spread. Now put this right into your whipped cream and blend well. And now it's time to assemble our stump cake. Here are our chiffon cakes. Unwrap both and then roll them back up again and cut each cake into three equal pieces. All right, so take one piece and unroll it and spread a nice even layer of your hazelnut whipped cream on this. You need about a cup. Spread it in a nice even layer. Okay, so now roll this up and stand it up. Now, why am I standing it up? Well, what I really would like is when you slice into the cake, you're going to have vertical layers in each slice. And here's our second piece. So just keep going around like that with successive layers. And as you finish, then get this right into the refrigerator and chill it. So here is the cake all wound up. And here is our white molding chocolate. And roll this into a round that will fit over the top of that cake stump. Cut that into a round. A few cracks will be OK. And place it on top of the cake. The cake's approximately nine inches in diameter, and this is nine and a half. That's good. Tuck the edges down. The bark will come up and encase the edges. So there, first step. And now we'll roll out the dark chocolate. This is the bark of the tree. To make it look like bark, I just mark it with the square edge of this spoon. So you can just brush off the powdered sugar and on the back side, you just brush with a little bit of water, which will act as an adhesive to make this stick to the cake. Now, this is why it's called molding chocolate, because it really does mold right to where you want it to go. Crunkle this up, make it look like it's in the woodland. I think that's looking good. Starting to look like a tree trunk. Now continue piece by piece until you go all the way around our magnificent stump cake. 
So I'm now doing the final decorating. You can see that we've really crimped the chocolate so that it looks like the roots growing into the ground. A little bit of dirt around the top here, which is really dark cocoa. This is the fun part. I love doing this faux painting. We have to cut some lines on the top to resemble cracks. You can use the sharp edge of the knife or the back edge of the knife. And of course, every tree has yearly growth. And you tell that by the rings of the tree. And you can just make a little bit of wet cocoa. Get the gist? It's going to look like a faux bois stump. Nice. Then we have some melted chocolate that can be put here and there. And some moss, which is finely ground pistachios. This beautiful green. And that can just be put here and there. Before you make a tree like this, go out into your woods and take a look at what they look like. Does the moss grow up the tree? Of course it does. Looking very pretty. Oh, I like this too. I like these shards of chocolate sort of look like pine needles that you would find on the forest floor. Remnants of the caramel cake. And now if you want, you can fashion some cremini. Now these with the cottage cheese tops, deadly poisonous. Any mycologist will tell you to stay away from these. All of these are made out of a fondant, so they're totally edible, <laughs> despite their poison appearance. It's incredible.